I'm, this is Jim Tedesco from Millennium County Railroad. <laughs> now, this is kind of an unexpected video, but that's okay. I uh, was asked, in a way, uh, if I could do a short video on how I redecorated those Chinese trees. I have two of them left that need to be done, so I'm going to show you how to do it on this video. It won't be a very long one. It's a pretty simple procedure. Um, it requires the use of some spray adhesive. Let me get some of that over here. I need longer arms. <laughs> I use this Elmer's Craft Bond good stuff. It's that expensive. You can use anything though. I mean everything from the 3M uh, spray adhesive to whatever off brand or whatever. Doesn't matter as long as it's sticky. The spray is convenient. I mean you know, I've used tacky glue in the past you know out of, out of the bottle. You can use that but it's such a nuisance to work with. You just this you just spray it and then you dip it. <laughs> <laughs> so, without any further interruptions, I'm going to go ahead. Here's one of the trees. That's right here. You know, this ugly thing that the Chinese think is a great looking tree somehow. <laughs> I don't know where they got that idea from. But anyway, because this is glue and I'm in the house, we're going to spray it actually into this trash can which is the best way to do it and keeps down, you know, you don't want things getting sticky all over the place. Say it's a tough lid to get off. <laughs> this requires a good shaking. I shook it a lot before we started this, but I'm just shaking it a little more just for fun. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to spray it very liberally. And we'll put on the top there. Then we're going to take I got a bowl here. Basically, I've got this. You can get this stuff from anywhere. It's just like a, um, a bush, bush material. And you just take it and just dip it right in there, and you have an instant tree. And you can take and you know, if you see any bare spots, you could fill them in, like so. But overall. It will shake. And I don't have a piece of styrofoam to stick this into. So I may have to hold it for a while. Uh, but anyway, that's what it is. And it, and it looks good. Yeah, this looks like a realistic tree. That's very simple to do. Uh, I suppose I could probably lay it down on something. won't hurt it. And like I said, it'll dry up in about an hour. And you can plant it, do whatever you want with it. So for you guys who missed this, I'm going to spray it again. Put my trash in. That's down here. Another good shake. You want to spray this really good because the more you get on it, the better. Uh, you keep, probably can't see the actual glue. Crazy tripod. Alright, then we'll go ahead and dip it again. And just keep rolling around and dipping it. 
There's a couple of bare spots here, so we're going to take and stick to it. A couple of stray pieces that are hanging. We'll just pull them off. And there you go. One great looking tree. You cannot go wrong with that. So, let me uh, lower this again. And just bring around uh, my ugly mug. <laughs> Anyway, that's how it's done. It's really simple. Uh, you should try it. Like I said, you can use... You still have the bag from that. I'm digging around the garbage over really here. Uh, yeah, I use this here. This is from Woodland Scenics. But you can use almost any brand of this type of, you know, shrubbery or bushes. And of course, you know, if you use different different shades, you can get different effects. Uh, I believe they even have brown, you know, if you wanted to, you know, maybe make your trees a little bit more like, you know, pre-winter or whatever, fall. Lots of ways of doing it. But I thought it's great. Matter of fact, I like it so much, and I may order some more of those trees from China. <laughs> and I was going to throw them away, and like I said, I really got to thank David at Crooked, uh, Crooked River and Eastern Railroad, excuse me, for giving me this great idea because I was going to throw them away. And the deal is, I got them from a company called Wish, W I S H dot com, and they're from China, of course. And uh, these were actually free, just pay shipping. The shipping, I think, was two dollars and twelve cents or something like that, and they get they give you ten of them. So. You couldn't go wrong. <laughs> but like I said, the, the picture they put on their page, they look, oh, those are great looking trees. They look very real. Until you get them and they look like what I just showed you, you know, before I redid them. But after dressing them up, I mean, you can't, you know, you can go to the Hobby Center and uh, I think uh, Woodland Scenics makes the, um, no, I'm not sure what they're called, the Bear Tree. You know, there's nothing on it, just like the limbs. And they're kind of pricey. I mean, they're good, but they're kind of pricey. I said, you do this, this is cheap. I got the things within two weeks, which wasn't bad. And I think I'm going to order some more of them. Because I can make some really great looking trees out of them. So anyway, that's how it's done. Now you know. Now you see how I do it. <laughs> and anybody can do this and there's really nothing to it. And, you know, if you wanted to take more time, you could probably even, you know, shape it out a little differently or whatever. I mean, I'm doing it pretty quickly, and it came out great. But if you really wanted to take extra time, you could probably get different different type shapes out of it or whatever, make it more pointed at the top. I don't know, whatever you want to do. You know, like I say, you know, get some of that Woodland Scenics or whatever uh, bushes and some cheap trees <laughs> and have fun with it. You know, and of course, don't forget the, the spray adhesive. you got to have that. But, uh, I mean, really, you can't go wrong. So anyway, as usual, keep it on the rails. And stay tuned for the next video, which will be hopefully coming out in another week or so. And I think we're going to start tackling some of that just plug uh, lighting stuff. It needs to be done, so I might as well jump on it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you real soon. Bye.